This video is a disclaimer video. I recently just finished up a series on uh, transmitting uh, information through the airwaves using mini modem. And I want to point out, because uh, there was concer some concern in the comments, one, I am not a lawyer, and I am also not a licensed ham radioist. So take everything I've said uh, and everything I'm about to say with a grain of salt. So first off, a lot of people are concerned about uh, the, the legality of me transmitting information like that over radio waves. And it all depends on you know, what frequency you're doing and what licenses you have. Now, if you were to take a CB radio or most walkie-talkies and transmit from one to another using digital signals, yes, in the United States, that would be illegal. Now, in the case of one of my videos, I used a little FM transmitter. Now, if I built a big FM radio tower and transmitted across the county, that would be illegal. You need to get a license for the frequency you're going to be uh, transmitting on. But the, the little dongle I had, the little transmitter, uh, which transmits on FM channels that your car would pick up, only transmits a couple of feet. Uh, and although the FCC regulates how that device is made, it, it, since it doesn't transmit more than a couple of feet, you're allowed to transmit it. So I don't think there'd be any legalities uh, issues when I'm transmitting that information because I'm only transmitting a couple of feet, which again is impractical for the scenario, but it was just an example I gave to show that you can transmit over the airwaves. Now there are radio frequencies that you can transmit on up to a certain distance uh, uh, that you don't need a license for, like um, uh, 433 megahertz or 315 megahertz, which is a lot, a lot of your little devices around your house may run on. Like all my lights are controlled on those frequencies, and you don't need a license for that. They don't go very far, um, and you're I'm transmitting a digital signal through that. But there's digital signals being transmitted through the airwaves all the time with a, uh, a little USB dongle. You can pick up. Uh, signals coming from planes flying overhead that are just transmitting out. So it all depends. Now in the scenario that I was giving, I was giving an example of the fire department in a time of emergency transmitting data like that. And in the past there have been ham radioists who have helped the fire departments. I remember back uh, in it, 15 years ago or so with Katrina and stuff uh, that the fire department just north of us, I knew some guys who were licensed ham radios and they were helping uh, you do radio stuff. Now I don't know what they were doing but they had licenses and I'm sure that they would know legal ways to transmit during emergency times if we need to transmit digital audio, uh, digital information. Uh, so yes, be very careful but my example was just a theoretical scenario and to show you that you can transmit data through audio waves, whether it's across a room with a microphone and speaker uh, or through a recording on a voicemail. It was all just examples of doing the same thing different ways. Also, let me bring up a lot of people uh, were bringing up different protocols. I was using mini modem. People were worried about uh, error correction and uh, using other protocols that allowed for error correction, such as uh, uh, Z modem or X modem or Y modem. They were uh, the problem with those with error correction is that in most of those cases you have two-way communications. I send you a bit of information, you reply back. I go, yeah, yeah, that is what I said. Blah blah blah, back and forth. Um, in my theoretical scenario, that's not practical. What we're trying to do in my scenario is just blast out the information to everybody because you might have a hundred trucks driving around trying to pick up the information. And we don't have time, uh, enough frequencies or time to transmit back and forth uh, over and over again. So there is no real error correction. I mean, you could transmit everything twice and compare it, but even then, if they don't match up, <laughs> there's no way to tell the server that sends it out that they didn't match up. So you just have to look at them both and go, okay, this looks like the correct one. We're not transmitting uh, binary files like images or, or executable files. We're transmitting plain text ASCII characters. So if a character, get, character gets dropped here or there, it's not a big deal. Yes, we were talking about transmitting addresses. If you drop a, a letter in the name of the street, it may not be a big deal. You drop a number, a digit, it may or may not, because you know in your area, if this road has four digit numbers and you're only getting a three digit number, that that may not be right. Also, the error correction in my scenario is we're still going to be doing audible uh, voice dispatch. So I say, uh, engine 24, you're being dispatched to 123 Pine Street for a stroke. But when we also send that out digitally. The digital thing is, just in case you miss something over the radio, it's like, okay, oh, they were, what was the address? So you're double checking. So that is kind of your error correction there. Again, it's a theoretical time of emergency scenario. So. Anyway, just want to touch on those things. Again, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, there were concerns about transmitting 
through the airwaves. All depends on what you're transmitting, the frequency you're transmitting, what licenses you have, that sort of thing. So definitely look into that thing more. My main point of this was the software that allowed you to do that. What, how you transmit it is up to you. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that series. And originally, the whole original thought on that series was to communicate through two cheap computers like a Raspberry Pi and something else. I never did that. I, I might do a follow-up video where I just basically redo what I did but just use a Raspberry Pi. But I have a lot of other videos I need to get to. So uh, I do thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.